Hey yo guys, it is me, Happy Sorek, and welcome back to Last Earth Survival. So right now we are located here in our free-to-play account because a lot of you are asking for this free-to-play content and here we go, that's what we are going to be doing today. And also, I just realized one thing is that Season 7 is gone, boom, and just as we speculated, Season 8 is just going to be all about Last Earth Survival birthday, about Last Earth Survival third anniversary, so that's pretty cool. So we'll just have to wait and see, guys, how that Season 8 is going to be. And for those wondering that Cyric when Season 8 is going to come out, and I have no idea. If I had to guess, maybe it's going to come out in like a week or two weeks or something. But again, that's just my blind speculation. And also, guys, now we are here in our free-to-play account. But inside of our inbox, we have here 10 rations because we've done like that pass from season 7. And in free-to-play rewards, there were like 10 of those rations. So it's going to be really cool now to auto-farm like these pine bushes. I'll be able to auto-farm it like literally five times. So that's what we are going to do now, guys. And look at that. We're going to get here incredible and incredible amount of resources plus a little bit of melee weapons. And I don't really know guys if i would suggest you farming like orange zones or red zones or whatever here we go i just farmed that place five times and just look at what kind of resources i've gotten there so i was able to get 46 berries 103 limestones and i was able to get 225 pine logs again you might think that hey that's not a lot but just basically for free from that season pass i was able to get like this many resources so in my opinion that's pretty cool but all the stuff aside guys today we are going to be focusing on bunker alpha because i want to test out like these beans aka canned food Food because right now your food does not restore your health automatically it takes a little bit of time to restore your health so I want to see if it's still possible to do bunker alpha just with beans uh, as you could do in the past okay so we've just unlocked bunker alpha and at the same time let's go and level up because I also think when you are doing like that auto farming thingy with those rations you also get a little bit of experience so we just leveled up I think I'm gonna get like robber because why not doesn't really matter so I've just gotten one level okay okay maybe I have here a little bit of tickets on top of that bunker alpha here as well yes indeed guys we have a little bit of tickets here so i'm gonna take that also i think today we'll be able to open up five green cards in this account as well and uh, yeah we have bunch of and bunch of guns for those wondering guys i have not spent a single cent here in this account all of these items are just from bunker alpha and we are only here level 86 so for those saying that hey this game is hard or whatever just make sure to check out my free to play playlist where i played on this account and i shared all the tips that i know in the game and you will see step by step how we've gotten all of these guns and I also have here a little bit of first aid kits. So maybe I'm going to take like those 10 first aid kits, five bandages and even more beans. And that's it. And I actually here don't have lots of and lots of melee weapons because as I said, I'm planning to go to that police department to open up five green crates. And for those who do not know, at least in my opinion, the best way to get melee weapons is going to be from that police department. So that's what probably we're going to do today. Okay, so I have sprinting skill. I totally don't need sprinting skill here inside of that bunker alpha, especially when we are trying to do this bunker alpha, the more efficient way. So... We're gonna deal with these guys. And as I said, I'm gonna try my best to use only beans here. And again, beans obviously aren't gonna be the best source of food here because they're gonna restore only like 15 health instead of 20 health but back in the days when those beans or canned food or whatever you want to call it guys they were really really great in bunker alpha all of the food was great in bunker alpha back in the days but right now when they nerfed it uh, when it takes some time for you to heal just look at this we're gonna heal right now and it's gonna take like four only four it doesn't even give me five health it gives me only four health wow that's crazy <laughs> so yeah it's gonna be pretty tough i do think that fighting one by one zombie it's gonna be pretty easy but when you have to fight more of them it's gonna be a lot harder as you're just it's not going to be able to heal as fast as they damage you. And we have already here 20 green tickets, guys. So let's open up at least one more green crate. And obviously inside we're going to get one gun or something. But I want to see what kind of other healing items we'll get here. So two bandages, more of that stuff. Okay, okay. And uh, well, I'm happy with what we've gotten here. Also, I'm, I keep getting here a bunch of and bunch of those caps. So I think maybe even today, if I'm going to have a little bit of time, we're going to go to like that gas station. And I'm going to try to spin a little bit of that slots machine. Maybe I'll be able to get like that tactical backpack because it would be really really nice to have a tactical backpack here in this free-to-play account and for those wondering why I didn't even go to the second floor is because I am not really a huge fan of the second floor second floor is pretty cool for the beginners like don't get me wrong if you need to do entire bunker alpha the most valuable floors are gonna be second and third floor so don't get me wrong second floor is still good if you want to open up like all of those crates oh no look at my health look at my health I gotta keep healing up I gotta keep healing up I gotta keep healing up dude oh no another tick another tick oh no it takes forever guys and a little bit to heal up with those beans. 
Oh no, oh no. And at the same time, you seriously have to have a bit better melee weapon. And right now, it's gonna take us guys forever to heal up. And again, another argument that some people say, I would say that probably majority, like maybe 80% of people don't like the new change, but actually there are 20% of people who actually enjoy this change that, oh, at least right now I can use my bandages. At least now there is a point to not save my bandages. And at least right now the game became more skillful and more interesting. And I kind of see the point, so I kind of agree with those people, but it's not like I agree on that way that, yeah, it's really good. They should have done that change. The point is, this is not a multiplayer game. I mean, there is multiplayer in Sector 7, so I kind of understand why food there takes more time to restore. But here, when we are playing just in simple, basically single player, as in Bunker Alpha or whatever, I don't see the point why would we have to use these beans as we use them here right now or whatever other food. Do beans restore more stuff? I think beans restore 20 health now. Guys, before they would restore 15. Or would they restore always 20? I think they would restore 15. Did they buff beans? Did they? Or maybe they were always 20. Maybe they were all... I think they were at 15. There's no way that beans were 20, guys. I'm almost certain about this. Look at that, guys. We have 80 health. And if I'm gonna heal it, the beans are gonna restore us up to 100. I might be here crazy, but I don't think that in the past, beans would restore 20 health. I think they would restore only 15 health. I think Beans got an buff. Did they? Really? I have no idea. So I think right now Bunker Alpha is going to have even more wall tricks. So in the past, I always said that you don't really have to do any wall trick. Oh, no, it's going to be pretty tough, guys. So I'm going to hide uh, probably somewhere over here. And I want to see if I'll be able to do any kind of wall trick for them. Yes, at least this way I'll have enough time here to go to heal up. So you still can probably use beans here. At least it's going to take... I mean, I do agree that it's going to be a bit more interesting. But at the same time, it's going to be harder. And it's just going to take more time. And in my opinion, for these beans to actually be more skillful or something, I think that something should have happened with those bandages. Or food should be a lot more common or something. Because nothing has changed. The game has just became harder. And that's it. Basically, that's pretty much it. In my opinion, if this game wanted to become like a little bit more skillful, or something, I think other aspects of the game had to change as well. Let's say if they made the food harder, they should have made like crafting bandages easier or they should have added just a lot more food to the game, but nothing has changed. The game just became harder. So that's why I think it wasn't really that good of a change because even though it does feel like it's a bit more interesting, it's a lot more work to do now in Bunker Alpha, especially for the beginners because it's gonna be really hard to get those bandages. So right now for the beginners, they're gonna have more fun in Bunker Alpha by healing link here with that food and whatever, especially for those people who know how to do wall trick, but for the other players, it's gonna be hard. But again, the game did not get easier in any way or any shape or form. It just became harder. So if I had to give my opinion, I still don't agree with the food change. I wish that they brought it back. Definitely, they're not gonna bring it back. They didn't change it like that out of nowhere. They definitely took a little bit of time to think about it, and they knew that players are not gonna like it, and they still changed it because they think that it's a good change. I don't know. But in any case, I don't agree with that food. And yeah, we could definitely, guys, go and fight that French giant with a wall trick or whatever. But we have a couple of these Winchesters. And even though Winchesters are pretty bad, and I would probably suggest you just recycling them. But I'm going to use them here on these French giants because they're going to be 100% perfect to go and fight with these French giants. And actually, when I'm fighting this guy, I forgot to mention really, really one super important thing. This man Video, especially if you haven't smashed it yet. My eye even started twitching. So yeah, guys, just as I said many, many times already, your likes do support these videos, so make sure to smash that like button if you still haven't smashed it yet. The more likes we get, that just means for me that you guys want more videos. So thank you guys once again for all your support, and now we're gonna continue here with this bunker alpha. We're gonna deal with this toxic spitter, boom, go to sleep. And there's no way I'll be able to sneak behind that toxic spitter, so I'm just gonna use like this baseball bat. And obviously baseball bat is not perfect for bunker alpha here, as crowbars are gonna be better than baseball bats, and everything else is going to be basically better than baseball bats but I have lots of and lots of baseball bats from opening up like those green crates and maybe I even gotten some baseball bat from brown crates I have no idea and now guys talking about the Winchester I think the only bad thing about the Winchester is that it doesn't have lots of durability if it had lots of and lots of durability I think it would be a pretty cool and viable weapon to use but right now it doesn't have lots of durability and it does only 20 damage and plus it's super slow it's like completely nerfed shotgun but uh, hey it's still there probably better than nothing Right, let's get this baby another green ticket. So I still need five extra orange tickets and we'll be able to open up that orange crate today. And continuing here with this bunker alpha, what do you think, guys, with that food change? Do you think it was a good thing or do you think it was a bad thing? Because I do know that the majority of the people don't like the food change, but also there are some people who like that food change. And have you tried doing like that bunker alpha with the food change? Do you think now it's more interesting or do you think it's just harder now? Because I can see that right now it's a little bit more interesting. Like I'm gonna heal here and I have to wait until my character is just 
was gonna heal up. So there's more things to do rather than just run through that bunker alpha and hold one button and that's it. Same like with guns. So for those who do not know, actually in the past guns would never miss. Like if you would have an M16, you could like literally hold it for however long you wanted to hold it and it would never miss. But after that, developers added mods to the game and then guns started missing. And uh, again, some people still don't like that change till this day. But in my opinion, I think it's a really good change to the game because the game at least became more skillful. There's more gameplay aspects here to the game as you need to actually upgrade your guns. And luckily, at least you don't have to have any purple mods on your guns here to make them really, really good. At least for the majority of these guns, you can just put on like these common mods and they're going to be good enough. So there's this one aspect of that gameplay as you have to go and get more mods on your weapons and blah, blah, blah. And at the same time, you cannot spam your M16 anymore and you cannot spam any other weapon anymore. You actually have to wait until it's going to reset and whatever. So it's a little bit more interesting right now. You spray a little bit, you run, you spray a little bit, you run. So at least the game became a bit more interesting. As I said, as in the past, you would just have to hold it and... That's it, that was the entire game. Just spray and heal and that's it. So basically, same thing with healing items, but the biggest problem with these healing items is that right now they are completely unusable in other places. Like, look at this. Even like fighting these two toxic abominations, there's no way you'd be able to kill them here with just your crowbar, just like that simply without the wall trick. And wall trick is kind of a glitch in the game or whatever, because I don't know, developers uh, actually embraced it. Developers said that they're not planning to fix it at least anytime soon. But at the same time, I still don't really think that this was intended in the game. Okay, so I'm gonna try to deal with this guy. Will I be able to go and deal with them before I die? I think I should be able to deal with them pretty easy just because I have some armor. So in the past, you could even do like this bunker alpha with worse armor. So right, But right now, you have to have better armor because with worse armor, you're gonna get even more damage and these beans aren't gonna heal you like that quickly. So there are just lots of and lots of drawbacks here to this thing. And as I said, beans are unusable in many, many circumstances right now. They're only usable for couple of cases, I mean, you can only like probably farm with those beans, but even then if let's say AI is gonna attack you with like that VSS or something or like whatever other AI guy is gonna spawn in whatever zone and he's gonna start attacking you and if you're gonna have like just beans on your quick slot and if you're not gonna have any bandages, that's it, you can probably say goodbye to yourself as you're just gonna die. So the point is food was nerfed to such a point that now it's kind of almost unusable because I don't really see where else could you use it. I mean, as you can see it's definitely still possible to go and do like this bomb or alpha with these beans here, blah, blah, blah. But again, I do know how to use this wall trick and I've been playing this game for over two years now. So that's why these beans are somehow some way still usable, but I definitely don't see, let's say if there's going to be a new player and he's going to start like playing this game, it will be really, really, really hard for him to do like this bunker alpha without any bandages. I don't think, I really don't think doing bunker alpha right now just with healing items without the wall trick, it's, it's not going to be possible. Really guys, it's not going to be possible. Well, I'm going to take here a bit different armor. Let's see how it's it's going to work. At the same time, when I'm doing like this bunker alpha, I'm trying to debate like if this change was even necessary because at the same time, bunker alpha is one of the most valuable places in Last Earth Earth survival. Like you can get rich just by doing that bunker alpha. So it kind of makes sense to make bunker bunker alpha a little bit harder. Again, here guys, don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean that, hey, bunker alpha has here perfect loot or whatever. It's just that compared to all the other locations that are now coming up, uh, coming out in the game, bunker alpha seems really, really OP because they just keep adding trash all the time, trash every new location every new season that they're gonna add loot is just gonna be complete garbage even compared to that bunker alpha like that entire like probably season pass uh, on free to play side you could probably just do bunker alpha twice uh, like really efficiently and you would get more stuff than like from that entire free to play pass inside of that season so you can see that's how trash that season pass was but that still doesn't mean that bunker alpha has to be nerfed or something bunker alpha is still really cool but maybe they made like that food change just to make bunker alpha a little bit harder so that you just don't farm it with simple carrots but it still it still doesn't make any sense for me also developers said like oh the game became more realistic because you cannot just heal with carrots and whatever but i'm like just like mm, bruh it's like really for the realism but at the same time i cannot lie for me for the guy who have been playing this game for almost like three years i am kind of uh, interested now to do like this bunker alpha just with the beans like that because it's a completely new aspect here of the game for me but i cannot be like really selfish and just think about me because i do know that people even right now till this day they still struggle struggle with doing like that bunker alpha so right now it's even going to be a lot harder for all the newcomers so even though for me i'm kind of interested in this change like it's kind of cool you know to go and like do this bunker alpha like with this new healing system but for majority of the players i 
don't think that it was a good change. It happened way too quickly. They didn't get any other benefits. It just became harder and uh, yeah. It just became hard to the point that beans and other healing items are just completely unusable. Wait, will I be able to, let's say, attack this guy just like that? Attack him. Here we go, just like that. Here we go, he did not even punch me, so we're gonna now deal with this Frenzy Giant. And as I said, you don't even have to use here your guns on these Frenzy Giants. You can just go and wall trick them with weapons, uh, with your melee weapons. But I mean, we're gonna just do this like that, because why not? Also, there's another trick that I keep telling to people. So you have to stay here close to this corner, and as soon as you will hear Frenzy Giant punching that wall, you can come here and open up that door, because sometimes when you're gonna open up that door, Frenzy Giant is just gonna stay in front of that door, and he's gonna punch you in the face, and it's gonna kinda hurt. So so that trick just takes like three seconds to do. Just stay close to that corner. And as soon as you will hear a frenzy giant punching that wall, just go and open up that door quickly. He's not going to have enough time to go get to the other door. Okay, so here we're going to get another red ticket. So I still need three extra orange tickets. Hopefully I'll be able to get them today. And let's see if I can open up that box. And nope, I still need to have like burglar skill level two. And I don't have it. And will I be able to... Wait, I just want to add more beans. And will I be able to sneak close to this guy and shred him with my saw blade mace? Yes, indeed I can. And that's it. We're gonna put this other guy here to sleep as well. And I don't want to sound here like a broken record, but yeah, guys, beans now are nerfed to the point that they're almost unusable. Like, for newcomers, beans are just literally unusable. And I'm not talking about only about beans. I also mean, like, carrots and all the other foods here in the game. They're now basically now completely unusable. And only players who know how to use wall trick will be able to do it. But all the other newcomers, like, can forget about food. Because I'm just trying to imagine myself when I started playing this game. Like, there's no way I'd be able to clear Bunker Alpha just with beans right now. There is no way I'd be able to do it. I was struggling to do Bunker Alpha on my own with, like, guns and whatever. But now those newcomers will have to deal with this worse uh, healing system, so yeah. And at the same time, guys, the game just became a little bit more grindy. All you will have to do is just go to those green zones, and instead of farming for those carrots, you will have to farm for the grass, which is basically the same thing, but you'll just have to get a lot and a lot and a lot more grass. Okay, guys, so one more orange ticket, and we'll be done. Please tell me we'll be able to get, like, this orange ticket in inside of this crate. Yes, indeed, guys, we have this. Another orange ticket. Plus, there is, like, this cleaver. I think we're definitely gonna bring it with me. And in this account, it's kind of nice to have all of these empty cans because I'll be able to recycle those empty cans for, like, that scrap metal, and then I can just smell that scrap metal for iron, and this way I don't really have to go in any zones and farm for that uh, scrap metal. And now, speaking again about, like, those beans and whatever, because this is basically probably the topic of this entire video, just talking not only about beans, but just about food in general here. I think the biggest hit was that now you cannot have your healing items like that food uh, food items in your quick slots because back in the days you could have them like in your quick slot or something and just in case if somebody's gonna spawn or if you're gonna be in trouble or something you'll just be able to spam food and you'll still survive but right now that option is gone so you cannot really farm peacefully just with food anymore because if somebody's gonna attack you you will die like it's gonna be literally probably stupid I honestly think that right now farming just with carrots is gonna be stupid especially red zones and especially farming oak like if you're gonna farm oak, sometimes just like that VSS guy is just gonna spawn and let's say you will be like chopping wood on auto or something and you're not gonna see that strict away and as soon as you will hear that VSS guy shooting you, you're gonna like exit your inventory, you're gonna start healing up with that food really, really quickly and you will exit the zone and you will still survive if you're gonna be quick enough. But right now, if there's like that VSS guy and you have like only your beans in your quick slot, that's it, you're dead. So farming red zones with like food items is plain stupid. Like you will die for sure, you will die for sure. Unless you're gonna have like an extra pocket and you'll be able to have beans and bandages at the same time but again if somebody's gonna spawn that quickly you'll most likely just gonna get lost and uh, oh boy right now I'm trying to find like three of those guys and even with the wall trick it's kind of hard wait I'm gonna take like back my crowbar here and oh boy because uh, the point is if I've done here for third floor I'll be able to do the second floor here as well because third floor is kind of harder and I just want to say see you guys if it's possible so I still think it is possible to debunk her alpha, but right now it's a lot harder. And I think that I'll have to go and make another maybe like video tutorial or something for players on how to do that bunker alpha. Because right now, all the previous bunker alpha tutorials that I've done are basically unviable because everything that I said there is just craft enough crowbars and uh, get enough carrots, which doesn't really work anymore. I mean, it still works the same thing, but the point is now a uh, wall trick is necessary. Like it's impossible. Literally, it's impossible to debunk her alpha without the wall trick anymore. Back in the days, I would say that wall trick is not really needed or whatever because some people didn't like wall 
Waltrick, you know, they were like, oh, Waltrick is not fair, blah, blah, blah. Some people still cannot do the Waltrick. Some people still keep saying that I'm just lying about the Waltrick because they cannot replicate it. And if you cannot replicate the Waltrick, just keep trying because as I said, it takes seriously, guys, lots of and lots of time to do that Waltrick properly. So try to do the Waltrick on these toxic abominations on all the corners and you have to feel the corners on how it works and then you'll be able to do it because Waltrick, as you can see, still works and it still works for you just because you can't do it doesn't mean that the Waltrick doesn't exist or it doesn't exist on your device because it exists for everybody. It just takes a little bit of time as you have to time it really perfectly and behind some walls that are going to attack you like those small guys as toxic spitters or whatever. Most of the time, they're just going to run fast through the walls. You can just fight with those big guys as toxic abominations and frenzy giants. But even then, sometimes they're going to get passed through the walls. So it's all about uh, that experience. It's all about the knowledge here. So keep practicing and you'll be able to do like that wall trick. Because seriously, right now doing Bunker Alpha without the wall trick is gonna be impossible because if you're gonna use your bandages on Bunker Alpha, it's gonna be even less efficient. I seriously need to make another video because I just realized that it's a seriously a big, big problem now for most of the players and wall trick is super necessary. And if you have a laggy device, I think you can say goodbye to Bunker Alpha now because there's no way you'll be able to do Bunker Alpha with, with the wall trick because uh, if there is anybody who's watching this video right now and you have a really, really laggy device and if your game like lags a lot can you still do wall trick is there anybody who can do wall trick with a very very laggy device so that's how big of an impact in nerfic beans was even though it's a little bit fun for some people like for people like me i kind of enjoy doing bunker alpha like this way like it's a little bit more fun for me but uh yeah i think we're gonna get the fishing skill because there is the hacker terminal but do i really need it is it really good but i mean fishing rod uh, i don't have fishing skill guys we're gonna get the fishing skill even though the hacker skill was kind of cool and whatever but i don't think it really 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 matters here we go we're gonna add some more beans i should have definitely brought here another like saw blade mace maybe i have like a saw blade mace inside of my inbox or something well i have a road sign so i'm gonna take here we go guys just a road sign i'm gonna take back like this weapon i'm gonna smack this guy with the road sign then i'm gonna take back this cleaver and we're gonna finish him off here with the cleaver and i'm almost done here guys with this entire bunker alpha there's only a couple of more rooms left which are gonna be really really hard to deal with but we're gonna do that and the closer i get to the end of this bunker alpha the more i think that hey it was a really nice change for me right for a player like me because it's a lot more fun for me to do bunker alpha this way i definitely don't think i should be judging this game from an old player perspective so me saying that oh it was a really nice change that they nerfed those beans would be really really selfish would be really dumb to say as majority of the players who are playing this game are going to be newcomers and are going to be players who played this game for only half a year or something and introducing like this kind of change for them i don't think would be that good again some people might definitely enjoy it and whatever but some people who do not know about that wall trick because i can already see some people saying that hey psych i love this change i've been playing this game only for three minutes and i love this change already and it's like hey that's really good you're lucky enough to know about the wall trick you're lucky enough to know about the everything but majority of the players who play this game they don't don't even know that videos exist and there are even players who do know that videos exist and there are some players who are aware of that wall trick but they still cannot replicate it and they still cannot do it so bunker alpha became a lot a lot harder for them so entire game economy just got basically ruined because of these beans and because of the food so it's gonna be really hard to go and deal like with these guys just with the beans so i think I think that I'm just gonna use here my M16 and a Glock to deal with those guys because, I mean, say whatever you want, but I don't have any good melee weapons and I don't have good enough armor as they're just gonna shred me. Look at this, just using guns here, they're already shredding me, kinda. Oh, wow, oh, wow. So that room doing just with melee weapons is gonna be kinda hard. So I'm just gonna use here Glocks and at the same time, I'm not really sh even sure if I had to clear that entire room. I mean, you can get here a couple of tickets and whatever, but was it really worth it? to damage like basically 25% durability of your gun. I don't know, I don't know, I kind of doubt it. It probably wasn't worth it. So right now this is gonna be another room that I would just suggest to ignore. Unless you really need some tickets, then hey, just grind that room. But other than that, just probably ignore that room. Okay, so we're gonna open up this thing. We're gonna deal with this frenzy giant. Here we go, guys. There's this big room. It's impossible to go and clear it with melee weapons. Even in the past, it was hard to clear it with melee weapons. So here, clearing it with guns, it's gonna be even harder. So I would just suggest you to not clear this room. And I don't think I'm gonna clear it as you need to have, like, better guns. I mean, I have here Glock. That should be definitely enough to go and clear this place just with a Glock. But I don't think this Glock is gonna be enough as you need another weapon. Do I 
have like a, another Glock here in my inbox. I just doubt it. I have here a Skull Crusher, not a Skull Crusher, but a Winchester. So that's not gonna be enough. Again, guys, we could go and clear this room. I mean, okay, we're just gonna clear it for the sake of content, but that's not gonna be enough, right? We're just gonna exit this place, but that's how we're gonna do it. That's how I would do it even in the past. So except that this food nerf makes me wanna take now these other items like bandages instead of beans or any other food because there is no way I'd be able to heal up here with the beans. Unless if I had here shotgun maybe, but even with the shotgun I wouldn't be able to heal here properly, so... No! Why did I click on this? Why did I click on that button accidentally? Let's go, baby. Here, go one more heal. And let's go. Only a couple of those toxic abominations left. And even with three toxic bombs, you can probably do wall trick, but it's gonna be a lot harder. And, uh, oh boy, oh boy, I don't have any more guns left, just as I thought. So, what I'm gonna do now is run a little bit just like that. Gonna hide here behind the wall, gonna go inside of my inbox. Gonna take a Winchester. Please tell me they're not gonna attack me. Okay, so they're kind of attacking me, but at the same time, not too much. So I'm gonna be able to go and finish them guys here with my Winchester. And again, the only reason why I'm clearing this room is just for you to show how would I clear it. Uh, but yeah, I would not suggest you clearing this room, so... Do not clear this room, I'm clearing it just to show for you that it's possible to clear it. I wouldn't use my beans because I don't think the beans and any other food here is gonna be really that viable now to clear that room, but hey, you got the point now. So there are only a couple of toxic bombs left, go to sleep. You go to sleep, toxic bomb. So only a couple of more shots left. Boom, 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 and boom. That's it, guys, so we cleared that entire room. And now we can just go and pick up these tickets. So I think I didn't miss any other tickets inside of that bunker alpha. So let's now open up these crates. Here we go. We're going to get here a machete. I still wouldn't say that it's worth it to waste like your entire full durability gun and your like eight bandages here. Because I think I used here around eight bandages just to clear like that room. So yeah, it's going to be impossible for you to use your food to clear like that entire room. I still think maybe it would be possible if you're gonna run faster or whatever. I still think maybe you could use the food there, but I wouldn't suggest that. So yeah, we cleared this entire room and we can definitely go and open up like another orange crate. I could also almost open up red crate. All I need is just three extra red tickets. I could go like to that second floor to get like those tickets or whatever, but I don't really play here that much on this free to play account. So it doesn't really matter for me if I'm gonna open up like this crate today or if I'm gonna open it up tomorrow. So I'm not really gonna go and bother about opening up like that red crate today because we all already have here enough guns on this account so opening up another red crate is not gonna make a significant difference so guys if i had now to sum it up this entire conversation that we had here today i mean to sum it up this entire bean change not the bean <laughs> change but that food change i would say that it was not a necessary change some aspects of the game became really unplayable and newcomers are really gonna suffer with it especially those players who cannot do the wall trick whose device are lagging with that wall trick and all the other things basically that i said today in the video so i highly suggest you check out my scrap mechanic survival let's play or click here on the second card and you'll go to my minecraft rl craft let's play or hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that i played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely be sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep